Hey guys and welcome back to EU4 as Sweden. Now as you can see a lot of things have changed especially when you look at the time. I've been going forward quite some time and I will let you guys catch up on everything that has happened once uh, we have declared our war because I'm going to go to war with Muscovy uh, simply because they are military tech 12. That's ridiculous. I'm military tech 15 right now so this is going to be so easy they're actually allied to bohemia but bohemia uh, is first of all my ally as well but they're also currently embroiled in a war against brandenburg poland uh because they're helping out the ottomans because poland declared war on the ottomans uh and uh, all kinds of people have been called in so they're probably not going to want to join them uh the muscovites in this war and that's going to be nice we'll be uh we'll be feeding twer quite a lot of lands but yeah uh let's go ahead and just declare this war and then once we've uh defeated defeated all of our enemies. Yeah, see, Bohemia doesn't even want to join. Uh, once we've defeated our enemies, we'll, uh, mm, Novgorod, I suppose. You have Tuzok, Behetsk, okay. Uh, you do, yeah, you have Novgorod as well. Okay, uh, so we'll go after this. And, uh, yeah, once we have defeated all the enemy armies, then we will, uh, talk about, uh, what else has happened. Um, but yeah, I first want to see this battle. We should just, I think we should just smash this army. I mean, just look at- Oh, God, look at the difference in morale. That's ridiculous. I mean, we have so much better tactics and discipline. They will just get stat wiped. And we rolled a 9. Uh, now we rolled a 1, <laughs> but still. <coughs> they should be gone. Come on. How many more days? Five more days. They will be gone. No! They hold- Ah, it was the 9 that they rolled. That's too bad. I really would have uh, wished to see them get smacked, but that's okay. Um, you guys, I think I'm gonna roll a new general. Uh, I can. I just don't have the points. Alright, fine. We'll still send you in, I suppose. Um, and there we go. Alright, so, at last time, I left off in the war against Brandenburg and Lübeck. As you can see, uh, I've taken over Lübeck, but I don't think it was worth it. The war, it, it was just, it was a ridiculous clusterfuck. Uh, we have... I don't know, the enemies have been able to siege so much faster despite not having as many cannons and not having any siege generals. I really don't know why why they sieged faster than me, but uh, in the end that caused me to have higher war exhaustion because they were able to siege all of um, the Teutonic Order, which by the way has now turned into Prussia, that was one of the new things. They've sieged Danzig, Marienburg and Königsberg and Mamel, because they have four forts for some reason. And then they've obviously sieged this, this, they've sieged my holdings here, uh, over here, and even Stockholm. It's it's basically every no, no, at some point, excuse me guys, at some point they had control over every single fort that I have. Um, and that's simply ridiculous. So what they then would do, they would, um, you know, constantly send some stupid peace offers, um, so I would constantly lose uh, stability. Because they, we're, I was at le like negative 60, because obviously negative 25, uh, because I did not hold the war target, uh, and then all of the other war score because I, uh, well, I didn't have any of my own land occupied. Um, so that was really terrible, but luckily I was able to eventually uh, piece out these two guys, Bremen and Hamburg, or I don't know even know who it was, but I was able to eventually piece them out, so that was fine. Um, but there was <laughs> still Brandenburg in this war, and Lübeck, and I don't know how, but they just managed to, to build up 50,000 uh, mercenaries. It was ridiculous. So I had to do the same thing, and uh, I basically, what I did, I took out, I think about 15 loans um, three, uh, of, of 300 uh, gold, and... Um, <coughs> oh, fucking hell. Um, I, I took out all of these loans and essentially just said, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna win this war. Um, so I had to, eventually I was, I won the naval warfare, I don't know how I won the naval combat, but I did. Um, so I had naval supremacy, I was able to uh, research some of my stuff, I then blockaded Brandenburg and got them pieced out. But in the meantime, we had the Dhaka feud, or the Dhaka war, uh, which is the unique uh, crisis, or the unique disaster for uh, Sweden. Um, and basically what happened was, uh, because I, so many of my provinces were besieged, I was no longer possible for me to, uh, you know, keep the wars, war exhaustion below four, uh, below four. 
So the Docky feud would just pro progress, and at some point it just it just uh, spawned, and um, well, basically I just had particulars everywhere. Uh, they they just sieged down everything that my enemies didn't siege, but you know that was fine. Eventually I just accepted their demands. The problem was that they increased the autonomy in every single province by 30%. Now. Um, that was fine during the war, I didn't care. Um, I just then sieged down Lübeck after Brandenburg was pieced out and took them over. Um, it did create a coalition, but mostly small guys. I was able to, you know, improve relations with them and then they would, uh, you know, they, they would leave the coalition at some point. It, it was not a big deal. But um, because of the particularists and because of all the loans, uh, basically the loans, you know, having I'm having a huge debt. And then the particularists, you know, basically increasing the autonomy in all of my provinces. I all of a sudden was no longer able to to uh, repay anything. During the war, I had about, I think I had a deficit of, I don't know, maybe maybe 10, even with all of these loans, 10 gold. Um, but um, after the war, I had a deficit of 30. And that was after I disbanded most of my army. Um, after I fired all of my um, advisors, after I mothballed my fleet, everything. I still had a deficit of 30. So uh, basically what I did, I just, um, you know, manually decreased autonomy in every one of these provinces. Um, and I was just hoping that no rebels are going to rise up. And luckily, that was the case. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the, the thing I had to do, though, was, uh, let me quickly show you this. I did change uh, my church power to uh, translated Bibles that would uh, r reduce the revolt risk. Also, obviously, uh, decreasing the war exhaustion helped quite a bit. And um, I gained, or I got one advisor, the national unrest guy. Um, and then slowly but surely, I was making a positive again, uh, because I reduced the autonomy everywhere. And yeah, slowly but surely, I was able to uh, repay some loans. I still have I still have six loans, but I decided, you know, with, with Muscovy being so far behind the military attack, um, it's it's worthwhile to declare war on them, not only for provinces, but also for money. Um, so that's what I do, and um, now I'm going to have to make sure that they do not retake uh, Novgorod. And something I probably should have done, I'm just lucky that they haven't really uh, used this, I should pay my forts. That was really stupid of me not to do that in the first place. But yeah, it doesn't really matter that much as they are not able to defend themselves anyways. Um, use caution, I think. And also, once again, I, I'm so lucky that I that I really uh, do not lack admin points. I was able to, you know, get my stability up. I eventually, after the war, got it up to plus three. Um, simply because that I needed everything to, to make money. And um, also, I used it to, you know buy down some of our inflation because that was pretty terrible. France is just kicking butt everywhere. It's, it's, I don't even know what it is. It's ridiculous, really, but uh, it's also kind of funny to see that France is just going nuts. Uh, I mean, no one, no one's able to stop him. Uh, there's no emperor. I mean, Brandenburg is actually pretty powerful, but they were obviously at war with me the entire time, so they just ate themselves uh, in here. They've uh, pushed out England, at least somewhat. Um, and uh, yeah, now they're actually in a big war. Austria, Aragon, and England. Not sure if they're going to be able to win that, but I, I suppose they will. They're France after all. Um, how is your war going? Are you still fighting the Ottomans? Yes, but you have pieced out Bohemia. And you've actually taken some provinces off of them. Holy shit. Well, actually, you've just taken these three. I see, I see. Oh, wow. But that's still pretty amazing. That's still pretty amazing. Now, Bohemia is my ally, so I want them to do well, but I don't really mind, uh, to be fair. Um, yeah, anyways, I think we're gonna maybe peace out Ryzen here, although they are co-belligerent. Let's see what Muscovy would give me. I, I want this, and I want this, and I want this. Anyone's gonna object? Nobody important, okay. And then, how about you give me uh, Warparations and all of your cash? You only have 300 gold, but that would pay for one loan. I suppose, and you can revoke, get rid of some of your cores, yes, and return another core, hmm, I guess I don't really need to do this, break your lines, that's fine, we'll do that, I guess, alright, so a hundred, nice 100% 100 peace deal, we'll just, well, we'll smash their armies, look at this, it's just amazing, so far behind a military attack, you should never be, that's just wrong, but yeah, um, yeah, we'll decline that, 
I will decline that. But yeah, that was basically everything that has happened, I think. Um, so yeah, the war, the war for Lubak was so costly, way too costly, almost not worth it. Um, but uh, you know, that's just uh, the way it is. Uh, yeah, still, I guess I could, by now, I probably could get some new advisors. But yeah, I, I want to repay my loans first. We're not making all that much money at the moment, so that's okay. A manpower has actually dropped also quite a bit. Hmm. Maybe I should do something about it. Oh, we shall see. I basically just want Muscovy to, uh, to uh, leave me alone. Come on, accept my piece. It's a, it's a pretty nice piece, to be fair. I'm only taking your two best provinces. And, you know, you can keep the rest. So, I, I, I mean, I do want some money, of course. Um, okay, Galich has fallen. Good. Um, that means I can probably move... Well, maybe. Depends. I can move on to Glazov. Oh, that's kind of strange. Maybe I don't want to do that. Let's go to Perry instead. And maybe someone wants to, like... Hello? I don't want to have this. This is just creating war exhaustion. I don't like Wolves Austria. I'm destroying another army. I could um, probably separate piece you, Ryazan. I don't want your stuff because I, you're not a local co belligerent. But you're. My oh, nice. You have some really nice money. Um, and I guess I could take Tula. I guess. But no, it's fine. We'll just do it like this. That's okay. You, you just get out of the war. Uh, that lets me repay. Alone, very nice. So now it's just six to go, oh, five to go only. Very nice. Yeah, so that's good. Um, and we are making a little bit of money from war operations. We should at least. Next month we will, it will get updated, I guess. Maybe we can even separate piece perm because they might have some money as well. Uh, yeah, that's actually something I should do. I should probably uh, separate piece perm as well uh, just for the monies because I need them. Uh, we have a little bit of uh, inflation, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll reduce that. Uh, what's the technology? That's another three years. We've been able to stay up to date with technology, surprisingly. Uh, I I don't know why. We have a new heir, I think, uh, Karl Johan, at uh, six two one, which is actually why I have switched to the uh, military focus, um, because we won't need that much admin with the six admin guy in the future. Alright, this has been sieged as well, so there's really not much I need to do, so might as well go ahead and unsiege my own lands, uh, you know, just to reduce my own war exhaustion. Uh, it's not that high anyway, but still. We are starting to gain some rebels, uh, some rebel progression, and that's not necessary. Alright, so, <laughs> we're almost making no cash, so I really need to rely on the money that I get out of this war. So I definitely want to have a separate piece with Perm. Yes, Muscovy, I will give you peace soon enough. And then you just need to... You know what? You just need to make sure that you no longer lack in technology that much. Because that's really your problem. It's really your problem. I'm actually one unit ahead. Uh, uh, one... What's it called? I have one more troop over, over force limit, I guess. That's what, it, that's what it's called. Um, we're going to smash this army. Uh, simply because I will get prestige from these battles. And now we can separate piece perm. That should be worth a lot. Actually, it's not that much. Huh. That's surprising. Well, let's siege that capital down as well. Although it seems that our Prussia is going to take care of that. Alright. Let them... Oh, yeah, that's 7% already. Alright. Let's l let them do that. That's okay. And my army will squish the Muscovites here. Just so that they never come back. Now, as you can see, they have somehow won a huge war. They have tons of lands here. I... I, I swear that was that was um, in that was while oh we have a regency council now that's bad for how long for how long he's nine okay so for another six years that's not ideal but that's okay um, so basically while I was fighting Brandenburg I was not you know at Brandenburg and Lübeck I was not looking at anything else and then all of a sudden I looked over here and I saw this huge scary Muscovy um, and obviously. At that point, while I was so in debt and, and ran a deficit, I was like, you know, I'm not going to declare war anyways. I was just happy that the coalition didn't fire against me. But, um, when, 
yeah, eventually I, I had a look at Musqueam and thought, wow, they're, they're really huge. But then I saw their technology and I was like, okay, yeah, they might be huge, but they still suck. So that's okay. Uh, anyways, basically just waiting for Perm so that I can uh, get some money out of them as well. And then Musqui will be the final deal. That's really nice. I'm actually liking this quite a bit. How much warp are we getting? Mm, that's not a lot, but you know, it's better than nothing, I, I suppose. Making seven gold now a month. Come on. Come on, Prussia. Don't be, uh, don't be like this. Um, I could get the aggressive expansion impact reduction. Now, as you can see, I have um, picked up the offensive ideas simply because we had so much military power lying around, and I've also, uh, you know, improved or uh, continued the influence line here. So we have our Swedish traditions. We have the national manpower plus 10%, goods reduced, and the land leader shock as well. So that's very nice. Um, come on, 63%. You gotta fall. You have to fall. Otherwise, it will be ridiculous. Is this? No, we can loot this still, so at least do that. We can loot this as well, probably. Let's just loot this while we can. Okay, and I think we can repay a loan, not just yet, not quite yet. Okay, there's Perm. They will probably accept everything I ask of them. How much? Oh, what? Come on, that was not worth it. Alright, ah, fine, whatever. Uh, an old treaties. Yes, sure. Return cause. Ah, I guess I don't care. Hmm, at least give me a... Ah, fucking hell. Whatever. Fool's religion, you're too big for that? Alright, that was not worth it for 50 gold. Hmm, whatever. Okay, still, it's fine. And now Muscovy, last but not least. So, I want all your money. Oh, you don't ha have much. You only have that. Okay. So we have your war operations. I'm not gonna go for humiliation here because that doesn't really do me any good. Ryazan, Nizhny, Novgorod, I don't really care. Um, I give this to you as well. Uh, you know what? I might, might want to siege this. Yeah, I might want to siege this. Just so that I can make sure that this goes to the rightful person. Twer. There you go. Um, I'm not sure what you are doing. Oh, right, I sent you to Novgorod. Alright, let's get this to Twer as well. And then this... Oh, okay, that already went to Twer, that's fine. Alright, so, um, I will basically clear the offer. I want this, 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 and this to go to Twer, which should not make anyone unhappy that I care about. Take all your money. Uh, take the operations and revoke your stupid cause on my stuff. Uh, I can only take two. Uh, no, in that case, take these. That's fine. Anything else? No, that's all we can do. Maybe a little bit less money. I love. I always love revoking cause. That's a nice hundred percent peace deal. Hmm. All right, fine. We'll take this. Yeah. I mean, I need the money, but still, I'd rather have you get, go get, get rid of your cools. All right. So, uh, Twer is looking nice and healthy now. Very sweet. And uh, you, I'll probably send over here, and then you two guys, I'll send you just here, just for the for the moment, so I can figure out what to do with you. Awesome, and we can get rid of one more loan, so that makes it four now, yes, and we'll be able to get rid of them in time. Glorious! Um, now, as soon as, we do not have any overextension, so that's very nice, so as soon as we have gotten rid of our uh, war exhaustion, we should, uh, all of these guys should be fine as well, at least I hope so. Cool! Um, so, yeah, uh, you want to marry me, I do not think so, as I now have a lot more prestige. We've also gotten a lot of uh, power projection here. Wow, this is nice. So we've really crushed them. Uh, are you still fighting? You're still fighting the Ottomans? Huh. Wow, wow, but you are winning. Oh my god, the Ottomans. Fucking hell. Lithuania, Brandenburg, yeah. Now, here's the thing. I don't, I mean, I'm doing well, but my manpower is not really high. And Lithuania has 52,000 men, 
I have, you know, almost as many. But Brandenburg has 40,000 as well. Look at their manpower. Uh, the Ottomans, I mean, if I could relief the Ottomans, that would be helpful. But look, they have so many troops. So many. I simply don't think... Hmm, I w Well, but then again, then again... <sighs> what about Hungary? Does Hungary want to join me? They're fighting Florence at the moment. Hmm... I need... I, here's the thing, I don't need to fight Poland, but I would like to give these four provinces to uh, Teutonic, although to, to Prussia, then I will annex Prussia, um, and then we'll uh, deal with Brandenburg. Huh... <laughs> Who's, uh, who are you allied to? You are not allied to anyone. But if I was to declare war on you, we have a Regency Council. Oh, so I cannot declare war anyways. Alright, well, that explains everything, or that solves the question for me. Um, well, in that case, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.